Joining me now is none other than Jake Rogers on the road with what we call the gritty tags. When someone says the phrase gritty tags, what do you think of? Oh man, uh, us. I mean, we're playing great ball right now. We're a bunch of young, young, uh, really young, energetic team. Um, just playing good baseball and you can't really beat that. Sure. Your rallying cry, don't let the Tigers get hot, has been so fun to literally rally around for these fans. I'd say you guys are pretty hot right now. What is the vibe going into enemy territory with this momentum? Oh, man, I think uh, just all around. I mean, yeah, I mean, I always thought since spring training, we were a good team. You know, we've had our ups and downs throughout the year. But but yeah, I mean, obviously, we're everything's kind of clicking right now. We're scoring a lot of runs and, and throwing the ball really well. Um you know, with Scoob going tonight, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun tonight, and um, you know, and and hopefully keep this thing going. But yeah, right now, you know, like I said, we're just playing great. Um, everyone's kind of having just a great time with it, and um, you know, hoping to roll into this, these playoffs and and keep going. Like you mentioned, it is Scoob on the bump against Kansas City tonight, and I think that just gives us an opportunity to talk about what everyone's talking about, which is Chris Fetter's work on this pitching. And yeah. I think you have the best seat to see it all happen from the other side of the plate. What's your perspective on the evolution he's really accelerated with the pitchers in Detroit and coming up from Toledo this season? I think just, um, you know, setting goals for these guys and, you know, really helping them out with kind of, you know, telling them who they are. You know, some guys have a lot of great stuff. Um, and, you know, I think most guys kind of know when they're coming up what, kind of what they're going to use and, you know, and what counts and blah, 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 blah. And, but I think he's done a really good job at game planning for these guys and, and really kind of uh, honing in on, you know, what they're good at and their strengths and their weaknesses and kind of, um, you know, trying to get the best out of them that they can. And, you know, uh, him and AJ and Scott Harris and that kind of everybody, I think in our pitching department has done a really good job with all the guys that have come up in this organization and, and uh, also going to get guys outside the organization, you know, that, that have had a lot of success. Sure. Uh, I'm talking to Bo Brisky the other day. He said he likes to put his game trust in the catchers. He wants you guys calling the game and that that strategy is not on him. How do you feel about that responsibility? I know you've been on the other side of him plenty of times. Does that relationship fluctuate depending on who's on the mound or is that kind of the uniformity in your role? No, I think that I think the most important, you know, job in my role is is taking care of those guys. Um you know, we, I think everybody in this clubhouse does their work, you know, as, as far just, you know, on the pitching catching side, you know, Ding, Dingler does his work. I do my work and, you know, the whole, the whole staff does their work and the, you know, we expect the pitchers to do their work too. So, and I think everybody does, does a good job at that, but uh, at the end of the day, we want these guys that are on the mound up there to not think about anything, to just trust their stuff and, and know that um, the guys behind the plate, whether it be me or Dingler, you know, put, are putting down the right pitches. So they, don't think about other than just executing that one pitch at a time. And um, and I think that's kind of one of the most important jobs of, of being a catcher is just to kind of make them comfortable. Sure. Kansas City for now, Baltimore this weekend, meaningful games right in front of you. It seems like it's set up too good to be true, but is this feeling more like a target on your guys back or is this confidence chefs puffed out? You guys know what you're doing. Yeah, I think, um, I think a little bit of both, you know, I mean, I think I just, truly think, you know, now we're kind of getting um, some attention that, you know, we're, you know, we're being a good team. We obviously we're playing great baseball. We're really hot right now. And um, I think we're kind of getting the attention we deserve. You know, we've always been a good team, you know, obviously, like I said earlier, we've been ups and downs, but right now we're just having fun being us, you know, um, you know, everybody always asks me if we're looking at standings, if we're looking at scores, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I, I know a lot of us are, um, I don't, you know, I, I think we just kind of, Again, the cliche of, you know, taking today, today um, and worrying about tomorrow, tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I think we're just, like I said, playing great ball and having fun. And I think that's kind of the most important thing right now is just having fun and um, letting letting the talent, you know, kind of do the talking. Obviously, you guys will be back home next week when it comes to playing on the road. I know, obviously, I'm sure you like to go home to Texas, but what's your favorite road market to visit other than home? Like the favorite road city? Yeah. Um. Oh, during the season, probably Boston's up there. Yeah. Um, Boston's a great city. Um, you know, obviously Fenway Park is incredible. Um, that's probably one of my favorites. Chicago is one of my favorites. Um, I'm not picky. I mean, I love going to different cities and I'm a big food guy and I love to eat. So, you know, going to all these cool, cool places and eating at all these cool different restaurants is, uh, but those are the kind of the two that stand out to me. 
Sure. And regardless of the score sheet or the eye test, we know you guys are playing your best ball since 2016. Amongst all this dialogue and chatter outside of the clubhouse, do you think there's something that people are missing about why this team is doing so well and playing so authentically right now? Oh, man, that's a great question. Um, yeah, I think, oh, man, literally I throughout the year, we've got along so well. Um, just the camaraderie of this whole team, um, I think, speaks for itself. I think you can see it. Um, you know, obviously you don't see behind the scenes, but, you know, in the dugout with everybody cheering each other on and we're having a good time. Um, and I think that kind of helps us, you know, get through the year. And I think that's a big part of uh, being a good team is everybody kind of getting along and everybody holding each other account accountable and um, cheering on your teammates, you know, to, to be successful. And throughout the year, you know, where we've, you know, come into spring training, having different guys and after the trade deadline, having different guys come up, um, um, I think it just kind of makes these players a little bit more comfortable coming up and, you know, having success right off the bat and, um, and really doing well. Um, and obviously you got to tip your cap to the, the talent of these guys that we have, but I think the camaraderie is a big, a big aspect.